All right, guys, so for the sake of uh, uh, clarity, um, I am going to be bringing up this uh, exit ticket from Unit 1, Lesson 1. Uh, I just wanted to review some key points before I let you guys, uh, or before I start explaining what you're going to uh, do for the post-it note. Um, so I want us to notice here, right, uh, I know I didn't uh, like tell you guys explicitly that you're supposed to shade it like I did here. I just shaded it in here so that you guys can see it more clearly, all right? Uh, notice here, right, these um, these ripples in white, they are, <clears throat> excuse me, these ripples in white, they look like they're sitting on top of um, the ripples that I shaded in, right? Uh, yes, the shading does make that happen, kind of. Uh, well, not kind of, it does. But uh, what really makes it look like these shapes, the white shapes, are um, in front of or uh, on top of these um, darker ripples or shapes is because it's not being blocked by anything, right? So you can see the entire shape of these white ripples, but you get you can't see the entire shape of, for example, this ripple, right? This ripple gets cut off right here, okay? Um, the reason uh, it gets cut off is because when I was drawing it, as soon as I hit this point, all right, as soon as I hit this point, I stopped working on, I stopped drawing this shape, right? Because it's being concealed, and I just continued where uh, this shape left off, okay? So we're gonna take that same principle of making certain things look like they're uh, in front of other things by like um, stopping where they touch, right? Uh, from this assignment, and we're gonna be applying it to uh, this these different foods, okay? It's gonna be a much more complicated, it's, the principle is the same, but it might be harder to think about when you're actually trying to draw specific things. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and play uh, this recording of me drawing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so first I'm just going to draw uh, one piece of sushi. I chose to do the sushi again, remember, so you can choose to do any other type of food you want. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to draw in, in any, in, I'm just going to pick one of any of the variations that I've learned to draw here. You could do one, two, three, four. Uh, choose, sorry, you choose either one, two, three, four, or five. I'm choosing to do number two. All right. So just draw the first one. All right. Draw the first one the same way that you've, you've done it before. All right. Now, the next thing you want to do after finishing your first version is you want to pick another version. Okay. Pick a, since I already picked two, I know in my brain, I am not picking number two again. I'm going to pick one, three, four, or five. Okay, in, since we're working with something so small as a post-it note, I would not go into five just yet. Five is probably going to come into play uh, more once we get to a larger size paper. All right, so not only am I choosing a different version, right, a different angle, I'm also going to choose a different type of sushi. So if you have a pizza or a hot dog or something, think about, or a donut, think about changing the type of donut or pizza or hot dog. All right, so here I start to draw um, the salmon type of sushi. Okay, and notice that I have now chosen version number three. Okay, I always have my sketchbook with all of my examples on uh, my right. You can keep it on your left if you're right-handed, right, whichever is easier for you, but you always want to have it visible so that way you can always reference it. It's like taking notes, okay? So I want us to pay attention right here, right here where the two pieces of sushi touch, right? Notice here, this uh, roll is, looks like it's in front of this piece of salmon. The reason is because I stopped drawing the salmon once these two lines touched, all right? That's very important. If you don't have that, then it's just gonna look like a big mess and that's not what we're looking for. We want a mess of food, but not, not a mess of lines, okay? So again, even with the rice, um, notice the rice here, let me back up a second. Notice with the rice, I also cut that part off, okay? Now, if we just look at these two here, right? Take a step back and look at what you've drawn, you can see it looks like this roll is in front of the uh, salmon piece of sushi. All right, that's what you're gonna be doing and make sure you keep that in mind. 